Welcome to Short Clips, an educational series for students, boards of directors, and industry professionals that need concise explanations of healthcare concepts. Simplifying sometimes difficult to understand industry programs and financial and reimbursement models in under five minutes is the goal of this video series. We hope you find this video valuable and it becomes part of your reference library on healthcare topics. The DRG acronym stands for Diagnostic Related Group. The terms DRG and MSDRG are often used synonymously for describing a system for in-hospital reimbursement, principally under Medicare, and sometimes when referencing other third-party payer reimbursement methodologies. The correct term regarding inpatient reimbursement is MSDRG, because Medicare adapted a predecessor DRG concept. The predecessor DRG system was developed at Yale University in the 1970s for statistical classification of hospital inpatient cases. The system aggregates patients by similar disease states and accounts for severity of illness, risk of mortality, prognosis, treatment difficulty, need for intervention, and resource intensity. Medicare's adaptation of the original DRG concept occurred in 1982 when the U.S. Congress passed the Tax Equity and Fiscal Responsibility Act. Specific provisions reformed the Medicare payment methodology. In 1983, Medicare adapted the original DRG system for hospital reimbursement for their covered lives under an amendment and regulations termed the Inpatient Prospective Payment System. You will see this sometimes referenced as IPPS. The MSDRG adaptation added detail not found in the original DRG concept. Specifically, a MSDRG definition will specify one of three levels of patient severity, either major complications or comorbidities noted as MCC, or complications or comorbidities noted as CC, or neutral noted as non-CC. The primary purpose of MSDRGs is foundational. It supports a fixed-fee reimbursement system based on disease classification that rewards cost control. The prior Medicare Hospital Reimbursement System, or cost-based reimbursement methodology, did not promote making healthcare resource allocation decisions that appropriately reduced healthcare expenditures. From a hospital's profitability perspective, it didn't matter if a patient was an inpatient for three days, or a week, or had one MRI or ten scans because Medicare paid for the additional cost of care. The MSDRG payment system forces hospital administrators to work with physicians to control costs, because reimbursement per patient admission is set to a specific, predetermined amount of money, based on a patient's diagnosis. Under the MSDRG reimbursement methodology, a hospital makes a positive margin per admission if a patient consumed less resources than the related fixed reimbursement rate and conversely loses financially if a patient's hospital stay or other related care requirements cost more than the MSDRG rate. When a patient is discharged from a hospital, they are assigned ICD diagnosis codes and procedures codes for their stay. ICD is an abbreviation for International Classification of Diseases. For each in-hospital discharge, only one of about 765 MSDRGs are assigned based on the usually many ICD diagnosis and procedure codes recorded in a patient's medical record. Computer software, referred to as a grouper, does this task. Hospitals are reimbursed by Medicare based on the assigned MSDRG, disease severity, and hospital location. This means hospitals may receive different reimbursement levels because healthcare resource and labor costs vary across the country and even from hospital to hospital. For example, the cost of rendering care for the same procedure in Miami, Florida, is much higher than in Pensacola, Florida. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, usually referred to as CMS, adjusts payments using a formula that recognizes regional variations in care costs and a few other factors. The DRG reimbursement system does not consider actual costs incurred by a hospital for patient-related services. Hospitals are reimbursed a flat fee based on the assigned MSDRG regardless of the true cost of a patient's inpatient stay.
Each hospital has a base payment rate, consisting of two components, a labor portion and a non-labor portion. The labor portion is adjusted in each geographic area based on a wage index. The non-labor portion that covers such expenses as electricity, communications, water, maintenance and other overhead outlays varies by state according to a cost of living adjustment. Each October, Medicare assigns every hospital a new base payment rate. New Medicare rates considers both nationwide and regional trends. Consider, a geographic area could lose its rural designation due to new residential property development and an associated large influx of people. Noteworthy, other factors contribute to hospitals receiving more money from the federal government for inpatient care. These factors include the designation as a teaching hospital with residents and interns, a high proportion of care rendered to poor and uninsured populations, and a facility location designated as rural. To show how to calculate a hospital's Medicare reimbursement rate, I'll use real community hospital data. The data for calculating the reimbursement rate is publicly available, in downloadable files, through the CMS website. The first step in calculating a hospital's reimbursement rate is determining the assigned MSDRG. For this illustration, the MSDRG is 291, heart failure and shock, with major co-complications or morbidities. Step 2 requires determining the hospital's base payment rate, which is also termed the payment rate per case. For this example, assume the hospital's base payment amount is $6,450. Step 3 is determining the MSDRG weight. Each MSDRG is assigned a relative weight, based on the average amount of resources it takes to care for a patient, assigned to that DRG. For DRG 291, the relative weight equals 1.2683. The last step, or step 4, is calculating the hospital payment amount by multiplying the hospital's base rate, by the DRG weight or $6,450 times 1.2683 which equals $8,180.54. The last topic of this presentation is a disease classification system termed APRDRGs, which was developed by 3M in 1990. This acronym stands for All Patient Refined Diagnosis Related Groups. APRDRGs are similar to DRGs, but also include a more detailed DRG breakdown for non-Medicare patients, particularly newborns and children. APRDRGs more adequately account for newborn birth weight, pediatric illnesses such as sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, hemophilia, lead poisoning, nutritional disorders, and congenital anomalies, high-risk pregnancies, and HIV-related comorbidities. You should be aware a payer may opt to use APRDRGs as a reimbursement methodology. While APRDRGs have merit in some situations, MSDRGs is the dominant system. Consequently, a thorough discussion of APRDRGs is not within the scope of this presentation. This concludes this video on inpatient hospital reimbursement under MSDRGs. If you have any questions, call Richard Class at 954-888-6916.